हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ स्पर्श एंड वेलकम बैक इन अनदर वीडियो ऑन जस्ट टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन टुडे इज़ वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन रन द चेकरन आर जी जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू पैच वर्जन ऑन योर विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इजिली जेल ब्रेक योर आई फोन आई पैड और आई पॉड टच हैविंग दी पास कोड स्क्रीन और ए डिसेबल स्क्रीन लास्ट टाइम ऑन माई चैनल आई मेड ए वीडियो ऑन चेक रेंट जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू पैच वर्जन विदाउट मीना यू एस बी फैचर एंड जेल ब्रेक ऑल दिस आई फोन आई पैड और आई पॉड टच हैविंग दी पास कोड स्क्रीन और ए डिसेबल स्क्रीन एंड यू कैन जेल ब्रेक द लेटेस्ट फोर्टीन that video but that method is only for the macos or hackintosh operating system so i will discuss how you can run that patch version on windows machine in this video and if you want to know which device is supported with this patch version and which ios version is supported you can watch that macos video in that i have explained each and everything in detail about this patch version so watch that video first and then proceed with this method you can find that video link in the description as well as in the top i button so you can watch that from there but still in the brief idea all the iphone ipad and ipod touch having the a7 a8 and a9 chips are supported with this patch version ios 12 ios 13 and the ios 14 14.4 latest version is supported all right now first you will need to download some files and the software so first you have to download the transpack and the checkrun rg patch version and the third one is the belina h tool and the other files so you can just google it and download it from the official website you have to just google it transpack and you will show the official website and just simply download it these all tools are free so everything is available on the internet or you can just check out my description blog link where you will find all the important links there and after that you have to download the belina h tool and then you have to download some files also so i will show you what is that files so you will need the rain usb file so we will use these files to run the checkrun 0.12.2 patch version on windows machine because currently the patch version is only available for mac os or the hackintosh but you can use this method to run that patch version because there is no direct iso file to run that patch version on windows machine so you will get all these files links in the description so first you have to open the balanager tool and then you will need a usb pen drive so just insert that now you have to click on the flash from file and you have to import the rain usb file you have downloaded and this rain usb file is available for both intel and amd processor so you can choose according to that Now after that click on flash and it will start making the USB bootable so just wait for it to get complete Now once the flash complete just close the balena h tool Now the next step you have to open the transmac tool so make sure that you have opened the tool in the admin rights Now after that on the left side you will see your pen drive name if it's not showing you have to unplug your pen drive and replug it back so just go to the my computer and you will see the rain usb drive so if it's not showing just unplug your pen drive and replug it back and then you will see the rain usb drive that means your pen drive is now running good after that open the transmac tool again and on the left section right click on it and refresh the drive list and after that you will see your pen drive so just one click on that and you will see the rain usb folder after that click on that now you will see some files and folder now you have to copy the checkrun rg patch version that is 0.12.2 inside that pen drive so first you have to extract that zip file i will give the links in the description of this file so you can download it from that or you can go to my blog and you can also download from there now you have to copy this content folder inside the application folder now inside the application folder you will see some different folder like 0.10.0 and 0.9.8 9.6 these are the old checkrun version names because this rain usb method is very old and this file contains the old checkrun version so we will not use that instead of this we will use the checkrun 0.12.2 patch version so just open the 0.10.0 version folder and after that you have to copy the new checkrun patch version file inside this folder so just copy the content folder just drag and drop inside that folder basically we will run the latest patch version from the terminal using this old rain usb file now the file is copied successfully so let me tell you again first we need to extract the rg version and that we have to copy the content file and we have to drag and drop in the checkrun 0.10.0 version so before that make sure that the 0.10.0 old version is completely empty and then you can paste the new files in that folder 
After that, close the Transmac tool and restart your PC. Now go to your BIOS or Reboot Manager and select your pendrive from it. So my pendrive is on the second number, so just hit on enter and you will see the EFI bootloader of the RAIN USB. Now you need to continue with the first option. So before that, this method is only works on the PC that support the RAIN USB method. If your PC doesn't support the RAIN USB method, you need to manually configure it to run on your PC. So you can go to the option and configure this setting according to your PC. So you can check on the internet and you can configure according to that. After that you have to select the first option and hit on enter. And it will start loading the RAIN USB on your system. So if it's stuck on this and it's showing any error, that means your PC is not supported by the RAIN USB method. You need to manually configure the EFI loader and you can do some configuration in the bootloader. So then you can run it. Now once you see the language screen, you can proceed with the language and if your mouse is not working, you can use the external mouse and keyboard because in some PC, your default keyboard mouse is not working. So you can use your external mouse to continue. Now you will see the RAIN USB logo. After that, hit on continue and now you have to go to the utilities and then terminal. Now after that you will see the terminal window. So let me just maximize it so that you can easily see what I am typing. Now from the terminal we will access that patch version. So you have to type the 10 number that is 10 and hit on enter and it will run that patch version. On the screen you will see the 0.11 but ignore that because this is the old green USB file that it configure with the old version of check green. But inside that we have pasted the new file. So it's basically the 0.12.2 version but it's still showing the 0.11.0 because of the whole file so just ignore that and just you have to put your device into the DFU mode manually and then you will proceed to the jailbreak because on the terminal you will see check rain in the CLI mode so you have to manually put your device into DFU mode so I have a 6s model and it's running on the latest 14.4 so for putting into DFU mode, I have to press the home button and the power button for the 10 seconds and then I have to release the side power button and keep pressing the home button for the 6 to 7 seconds and then it will put your device into DFU mode and on the left side of the screen you will see the check run process on the terminal. So this process is only for the A7, A8 and A9 devices like iPhone 5s to iPhone 6s and 6s plus. On the above model you will need the Mina patcher. So now it's done and as you can see that the booting part is done and you will see the complete booting process on the iPhone also. And now you can see they all done on the terminal that means the jailbreak is done. So you can follow the same process for the iOS 12.5.1, 13.7 and the iOS 14. And if you want to see the same process and all the devices like iOS 12 like iPhone 6 and the 13.7 iOS version and the 14.4 you can watch my macOS version method in that I have explained each and everything about this patch version. And for going back to your windows machine just quit the terminal and click on the terminal from the toolbar and quit the terminal and click on the Apple logo and click on the restart and now it will restart your PC. Now for showing you that the jailbreak is completely done, let me just unlock my phone and you can see the check and loader is there that means the jailbreak is successfully done and I am only running the latest 14.4 on my iPhone 6s so you can follow this procedure and jailbreak your passcode screen or a disable screen very easily. So that's all for this video so make sure you hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel so till then goodbye take care and peace out.